you don't have to be pretty with the tourniquet because the early stage is just slap it on proximal to the wound or at least where you think the wound is. All right, hey, every time we move them, we need to reassess. Crank it down until you see the bleeding slow down and then get them out of there. Our medics need to be ready to take care of a casualty. It's coming up, up and down normal and this side is not. We um, need to have that baseline training so that if their battle buddy's injured next to them that they know how to put on a tourniquet. It's working with what you have to improvise and provide good care in less than ideal circumstances. Hurry up, man, he's bleeding out. Special Forces medics have a critical role while deployed, and it's training at their home station, Fort Carson, Colorado, that makes them the best at what they do. Almost all of my medics are gonna find themselves at one point or another out in the middle of nowhere with a medical question or a medical problem that they have to yeah. deal with. He's dealing with the massive hemorrhage now. Major Hunter Weingartner has the knowledge and experience to train these troops. All right, what are you doing, man? Let me know what you're doing. And turn them into all-around MacGyver medics. You know, when I think back to the early 90s when I was watching MacGyver, he always found a way to improvise and work with what he had and, and come up with uh, solutions. Hey buddy, you're gonna be all right. It's something that I think the Army encourages in general is to know how to think outside the box and, and it applies in our medical training as well. For Major Weingartner, who was born and raised in Alaska, being outdoors is second nature. Yeah, we did a lot of outdoor stuff in Alaska growing up. I mean, it's just kind of like that up there. You just have so much access to wilderness and camping and fishing and hiking is pretty much one of the maiden things you can do. It's a lifestyle that he continues to share with his family today. And then in the summer, there is just so much to do in Colorado. We hike all the time. And then rock climbing is very accessible and it's a big thing that my kids and wife enjoy as well. Almost every weekend we go to one of the local cliffs and climb for a bit. Yeah, I think you gotta expose them young. I think some of the training I've had helps me guide the guys to solutions they may not have thought about and provide them some of those examples. All of the planning, slowly lower on that, and training okay. comes down to readiness. Our medics need oh. to be ready to you know, take care of a casualty. And that's what this training that we're doing is about. All right, good. 